Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these custom Mac binoculars, which can fit right on one of your conjures. It's on here. Ah, can just fit on one of your clones just like this. And he looks pretty good. So I will be showing you guys how to make these right now. Okay guys, so this is everything you need right here. Um, you can, well, so first off you're gonna need some paints. The black paint you can just replace with like a sharpie or a pen or something like that. Or you could put, replace the paint with like marker or something if you want. But I highly suggest paint for the macro binoculars. Um, you can just, even though this doesn't really matter, you just really need white paint so it actually sticks. You need some super glue. I just have this Gorilla Glue. Just super glue, just normal super glue. Um, instead of a paintbrush, I recommend a thumbtack because it, it like you can get smaller details. And we're gonna need some paper to actually ah, to actually make up the you know parts of the micro mac binoculars like the bottom and the front. And you're going to need a clone visor or just a visor like this. So yeah. Oh and you're gonna need a figure to put on this just a clone, but you don't really have to. And let's get into that right now. Oh and one more thing, I forgot to add in scissors, so just make sure you get some scissors too. Okay guys, so up first we're gonna take our mac binocular. And we are going to cut them down to size. So there should be um, just cutting it about like right there is where I suggest about cutting it. Right there. It's pretty good. Now we are going to do the same for the other side. There we go. There's the story of my camera to actually focus. There's how it should look. If one side's a little bigger, just trim it down just a little. Because usually we overestimate how much we have to trim it down. So there's that. And for the paper, I mean, I just like to cut a small piece. It's roughly the size. And I'm gonna do this on paper so I don't get all this on my new desk. I would do not want. I'm gonna do all the gluing. Alright, so just take a small piece of paper like this. Get some super glue. Make this glued shut. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, that took a lot longer than expected to open. But let's see if it actually like. Alright, so the first thing we do is get just a little on there. We'll make sure I don't do what I just did. Just a little spine. If it's dripping like this, just wipe it on the paper. And we put our piece of paper just anywhere on it to make sure it's covering all edges. It's basically like this, so it's just covering everything. Just like this. So, now we wait for this to dry just a little. Just, just blowing it a little. And it should dry in a second. So I would assume it's dry because it's super warm paper. So now we still need our super glue, but just not that much. Well, for the same reason. See, mine's not that dry yet. So just wait for it to dry. Well, basically what I just did, I was just trimming around the edges so it gets smooth. You see, mine's not dry yet. So I'm going to glue it again and I'll come back when mine's dry. So I'm pretty sure it's dry. Um, I mean, I hope I wait like 10 minutes. So what we're going to do, the most satisfying part of this, is just to cut off the edges. Let's hope this is dry, by hoping that the edge doesn't fall off. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Get the extra stuff off the scissors. You know, for the last side. And that should stick sticking to my finger. Never good to have super glue on your fingers. Sorry about that voice crack right there. Let's get this kind of under there like that. Well, and you might get super glue all over your fingers for this. So you just like be aware of that. And it should look like this. So, to get on the inside of this, you can always, you can turn this up right now to make it like more like, accurate or just so there's not like scraps sticking off. But I'm not gonna do that just because this is an example video. And I already have some macro binoculars. 
So this is probably one of the hardest steps, just like trying to go along the inside of this. So I like to do that and then I can just bend this up just very, so it's like, just so you get enough to where you can like cut it off. But you can use whichever method you use to cut out like the insides of like circles. Remember if that was not in frame, basically just do what I told you. Yeah, mine's not perfect, but you know, it works. So now we have this. So now the next step in this process is to get just another piece of paper. This one can be smaller. So, sorry for looking for frame, my camera's kind of, my tripod is pretty old, you know. And I can just get the piece that I cut. And yeah. So this is what I like to do for this step, just get the end like this, just dip it in super glue like that, so it gets it all over, and then I just stick this on. And I will be right back when this dries. Okay guys, so I assume that this would be dry, I mean, it's been sitting for about the same 10 minutes. So now, we basically just trim this up again. Very simple and straightforward, I already like, showed you guys this, and I assume that you guys are not dumb, so. I don't really think that I need to go over this again. Alright. Alright, so once we have this all trimmed up, like this, we can go ahead and begin the painting process. So the painting process is straightforward. I like to use apple barrel paints. They are the best in my opinion, and you can get these big like um two ounces two ounce jar um containers jars whatever you want to call them for about 50 cents so it's a very good deal and we can begin the painting process okay guys so i would call this dry so um let's get our black paint or you guys could use a sharp ear pen sorry about my hiccups and my voice sorry about that Basically, we get very little on there, and we just paint a little line across. As far as mine's not the neatest, but you guys get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. Alright, so this is what my mine, mine looks like. So basically, guys, that is how you make custom macro binoculars. I will show you them on a figure right now. So I'm just going to get this figure right here. And I'm going to do this. Put the binoculars on him. Whoa, there we go. And this is what they look like on a figure. These are not my best ones. This is why they don't look so good. But if you actually do it right and take the time and spend some time on it, they can look like this. So they look really good. And if you put them on some custom clones, they will look really good. Or any clones. That matter. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.